Hello there, and welcome to this edition of District Administration Solution Showcase. My name is Kurt Isaac Early. I'm the magazine's web seminar editor, and I'll be your host. In Solution Showcase, we profile new and innovative products, solutions, and programs that can help you meet your district's needs in a short video overview. My guest for this edition is Rudy Vitti. He is Group Manager for Product Marketing at Panasonic, and he's here to tell us about the BF1 Interactive Display Series from Panasonic. So, Rudy, at this point, uh, it's great to have you with us. I'll turn it over to you. Welcome to Solution Showcase. Oh, thanks, Kurt. It's a pleasure to be here and be able to talk about our fourth generation of uh, interactive display product. Uh, we started with interactive displays about uh, four years ago, and we've been uh, every year making improvements upon uh, our interactive displays with each generation uh, introduced. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about today is the BF1 series uh, interactive displays. Uh, first, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Rudy Vitti, as you, as you mentioned, and I'm the senior product manager uh, for visual systems, which is our commercial display line here at Panasonic. Um, and of course, one of the areas of focus is our interactive displays, uh, and particularly the BF1s uh, that we, we've re uh, introduced recently. Uh, available in three sizes, a 50-inch, a 65-inch, and an 80-inch. And as I said just a few minutes ago, we've, we've made uh, improvements with each generation uh, that we've introduced. Uh, the most important thing is that they have to be uh, simple and easy to use. Um, so we've made a, a concerted effort to make sure that uh, uh, anybody can use them, whether it's a teacher or a student. Uh, we've added some, some features uh, that we think are first in the industry in terms of uh, accessibility. And, and of course, um, you know, we, we're also making it easier for students and teachers to collaborate uh, using these devices. Um, and in the end, we'll talk about uh, a special offer that we're able to uh, help uh, make these easier to get into every classroom. Um, but anyway, um, uh, first of all, um, when we designed these uh, BF1 series, uh, the, the main thing we wanted to make sure of is that anybody can use it. Uh, so the design is very simple. You turn it on and you're able to annotate. Of course, it's a display that you can view videos or any kind of moving content or still content on, uh, but you can turn it on and you're ready to go. Uh, we really don't need the, uh, we don't have a need to hook up a PC to it to run software. Everything is built into the display, so it will work as, a, as, a, as an electronic whiteboard as is, but if you want to, as an option, you can hook up a PC and run uh, either our software that we provide for annotation or a third-party uh, software that be available. Uh, so it's basically turn it on and you're ready to go. Um, of course, you can, uh, we give the ability to annotate, uh, not only on, a white, uh, on the screen as a whiteboard, but also over uh, content you may have coming into the display, whether it's video or still pictures. So you have the ability to annotate over, over content. Uh, you have the ability also to save the contents uh, in, internal to the display, or you can export them onto USB stick, uh, or you can actually email the, uh, the annotations and the content on the screen as well. So one of the big improvements that we've made on, our, on this generation of interactive display is that we've made the interface uh, uh, completely intuitive and all the controls are basically available on the screen now. Of course, with most products like this, you know, obviously the annotation tools are available on the screen, but uh, we've also added the control of, uh, for example, which input signal you want to display on the screen. Uh, that can be changed on, on the screen as well using uh, the touch screen itself to, to, to dictate that. Uh, you can also control things such as volume, and you can minimize the, uh, the menu, or you can expand it to have as many features as you would like. Uh, but it makes it very easy to use the entire display, not just the uh, annotation tools. Uh, I mentioned in terms of accessibility, um, one of the things that we've done here is we've taken into account like certain students, and uh, based on the research that we've done, it's about 8.5% of people worldwide uh, have some sort of uh, color blindness. And 
in particular red green uh, with the colors red green. So um, we included a feature in these displays uh, which we're calling our color universal design. And what this does is it, it alters the, the, the color palette that's available to make it so that those with those red green uh, color weaknesses uh, they can see the colors more easily or be able to distinguish those colors more easily. So you can see from on the screen um, the, the color palette is, is reduced and also there's uh, different, uh, different, uh, pa different colors of, of red, yellow, and green to make it easier for those afflicted persons to see. Uh, the color universal design is, is completely selectable so you can turn it on or off. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be one way or the other. Uh, but again, this is an industry first, we believe, and uh, you know we think it's a, a significant uh, a significant value uh, so that those who may be experiencing some color uh, vision deficiencies uh, will not be left out or be unable to to di distinguish colors on the screen. We've also done some things too, like even the LED light that indicates that the display is on or off. We've changed the colors of those too, so that that can easily be seen as well. We're also uh, partnering with our with a, a company uh, EXOU, and uh, we're able to provide additional collaboration tools such as their Ormi Board Pro software, uh, which allows uh, multiple users in a bring your own device environment uh, to connect, uh, regardless of the platform they're on, whether it's a Windows platform, or uh, iOS, or Android. Uh, it's, it's platform agnostic, allows everyone to collaborate. Um, it also has tools in there so lessons can be built out um, and uh, we're able to offer this as part of a, a package with our displays as well. So uh, if, if someone wants to take collaboration a little bit further, we offer the ability to do that using the Ormi Board Pro software. In terms of flexibility, um, as I mentioned, we can annotate over uh, incoming video signals or, or and some of the other things we can do too is we can import uh, files from a USB stick. So whether they're uh, video files, they're uh, 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 JPEG pictures, uh, you have the ability to load them onto a USB stick and then display them onto the, the BF1 display and then have the ability to annotate over those, those images or videos. Uh, some of the uh, file types that are supported are MPEG, uh, WMV, uh, MOV files, uh, and in terms of still pictures, it's uh, bitmap uh, or JPEG files as well. So additional uh, flexibility here in terms of uh, content getting onto the screen. And in terms of integration into a classroom, one of the things that we provide is a single cable solution called DigitalLink. Now normally when you hook up a display, uh, you have to have uh, multiple cables hooked up to the display, maybe running over a, a long distance, but uh, what this solution does or what this uh, digital link does is it allows us to transmit all the signals needed over a single CAT5 or CAT6 LAN cable or Ethernet cable. Uh, so very inexpensively, this cable is relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other uh, signal carrying cables. Um, it allows us to transmit uh, over distances up to 100 meters. Uh, so you can have devices in another part of the school feeding this display and simply connecting it to the display using a single uh, uh, network cable. The other thing we do is offer expandability with our slot 2.0 architecture. So what this allows us to do um, is, is uh, provide optional boards that can increase the functionality of the display. Uh, for example, if additional input terminals are needed, we can provide an, a board that can provide uh, additional inputs. Or if a, a PC type device is needed, we have options for that as well, or a controller. Uh, so it enables, it enables us to, to expand the, the input capability or the functionality of the display using input uh, terminal boards. Uh, that are available from us. At a high level, um, that's most of the features that are available on the BF1, but um, another thing I wanted to talk about was a, a, an offer that we're currently running to make these uh, available more easily. Uh, through our business finance partner, 
uh, we are currently offering a 0% financing option uh, for these interactive displays on our projectors, specifically for the K-12 through market. Uh, so uh, we have a couple of different options in terms of uh, we have options for uh, monthly payments or we can do uh, biannual payments as well, or, or annual payments, I should say. Uh, so this allows, uh, you know, the user to uh, pay for the uh, pay for units or multiple units uh, over time. Um, if it doesn't fit into one budget year, it can run over two budget years. So, uh, the, for more information, our, our finance partner uh, John Gunderson is available. Uh, his number is there, and so is his email. Uh, we do have uh, a number of different options available for financing. So again, um, that was a rather quick high-level view of our BF1 series. Um, we look forward to working with you. Uh, Panasonic has many different options in, in, in display technology, uh, but we're really ex excited about our BF1 and how it can help uh, the learning environment. Uh, so that's all I've got. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Kurt. I'll turn it back over to you. Okay, great. Thank you so much for being with us here, Rudy. Uh, now to our audience, if you'd like some more information, we have uh, this email address here on the screen, also this phone number you can dial. Uh, alternately, if you prefer, you should see a simple contact form on your screen directly below this video. If you fill that out, uh, somebody from Panasonic will get in touch with you with some more information. So that is it. For this edition of District Administration Solutions Showcase, thank you so much for watching.